All right, to get started, I just added a clip to my timeline and I'd like to blur her face, but keep in mind that this'll work for blurring anything that's moving. Now, let's begin by going over to the effects panel and type Gaussian blur into the search box. Drag the Gaussian blur effect onto the clip you'd like to blur. Then up in effect controls, make sure the playhead is positioned at the start of your clip. Under Gaussian Blur, I'm going to use a circle shape since that's roughly the shape of her face, but you can use a rectangle or pen tool if you want to instead. Then position the mask over your subject and use the handles to resize it. You can click anywhere around the mask to create extra points if you're trying to be specific about tracing your subject. I'm not, so I'm going to undo that. If you hover slightly outside the mask, the cursor will change and allow you to rotate your mask to better fit your subject. Okay, once you have your mask in place, increase the blurriness to your liking. Before you start tracking, next to Mask Path, click the Settings wrench and make sure you have the preview enabled. And if you ever accidentally deselect your mask, reselecting it in effect controls will always bring it back. All right, now simply press the track forward button to start tracking your subject. If you notice the tracking going off the subject, stop the tracking right away. It can be hard to stop at the exact point, so you can use these arrows to move the playhead to where the mask first starts moving off the subject. Then delete all the keyframes after that point, and adjust the mask to better fit your subject. Now, instead of hitting the track forward button again, I'm going to use the button to the right of it to only track one frame at a time to make sure Premiere Pro is doing a good job now. Once the tracking seems like it's okay, you can hit the track forward button again to speed things up. Premiere does a great job with the rest of my clip, but if your subject changes angles a lot, you may have to do this process of stopping your clip and making adjustments a few times. Alright, now when I play this back, her face is blurred for the whole clip. For a final touch, I recommend increasing the mask's feather so that your blur fades out and looks smoother. I think that's looking better now, so as always, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.